Hello everyone, if you are listening to this with you on the Sabbath, then I would like to wish you a Sabbath filled with the confidence that God's grace can restore and transform you no matter what path you have walked on. This week's review is for an interview. The Power of Media. Derek Morris shares his life story. Derek Morris, president of Hope Channel International, shares his life story with ANN Profiles. ANN stands for Adventist News Network. And here's my little disclaimer. I am not affiliated with the Seventh-day Adventist Church. However, in John 10, 16, Jesus says, And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. So with that in mind, I don't differentiate between Christian denominations. I pray and review films and programs where I believe God leads me. Back to our description. Born to teen parents in post-war Europe, Christian upbringing and dynamic interaction, Derek Morris strayed from God in adulthood. What brought him back? Learn how God answered his prayers, provided financial aid for college, and led him to the ministry where he still works today, in media ministry. I will give a testimony about how God crossed my path with Derek Morris at the end of the podcast. This interview reminds me of the film I reviewed, The Power of the Air. I reviewed it, um, yeah, sometime last year, I think. It reminds me of this film and how media can be used for good or evil. We can clearly see that Satan uses media to spread his lies. So as a Christian, it's an honor to use media to spread the truth. It's amazing to see how God has been active in Derek's life. His life story is filled with divine intervention, and he gives all honor to God. Praise the Lord. As this is a testimony, I will just let it speak for itself, so I encourage you to go to the link and listen to the interview. Before you go, I'll give my testimony of how God crossed my path with Derek Morris. I first came across Derek Morris through a Bible study program called Hope Sabbath School. Back in 2016, when I was a member of the Seventh-day Adventist denomination, I was a member of the SDA denomination from 2016 to 2019. I watched Hope Sabbath School every week and used their study outline to lead Sabbath School study in my local church on Sabbath morning. I really enjoyed watching Hope Sabbath School and learned a lot of scripture due to the scripture verses that were sung at the beginning of the study. I continued to watch Hope Sabbath School throughout the years. The scripture songs are written by Derek and his wife, Budin. They are both part of a singing group called Trilogy Scripture Songs, which also includes Ashley Hold. Okay, let's fast forward to 2021. A few months before I knew that Renewed Faith Media would be created, I purchased several albums, actually more than that, made by Trilogy Scripture Songs. And I remember thinking that I had bought more songs than I could ever listen to. As you may or may not know, True to the Word is part of my ministry, Renewed Faith Media, which also has an internet radio station called Sabbath Radio. Back in October 2021, God brought Renewed Faith Media to my mind. The blog and podcast were started first, then about a week later, the internet radio station, Sabbath Radio. All without me ever having experience in producing a website, blog, podcast, or internet radio station. While I was setting up the radio station, God brought to my mind the reason for purchasing so many songs a few months before. The trilogy scripture songs would be the songs to provide enough music for the first couple of broadcasts. Praise the Lord. (laughs) I remember that was just such an amazing time. Anyway, I contacted Derek and his wife, Budin, 
to ask them if I could use their music for Sabbath radio, and they graciously said yes. Another fun fact, Addison Wood is part of the Hope Sabbath School panel. He sang one of the scripture songs solo a few times. It was very apparent to me that he had been given the gift of singing by the Lord, so years later, after Sabbath radio was created, God brought him to mind, and I reached out and asked permission to use his music, which Addison gave. Again, praise the Lord. God is truly amazing, isn't he? Watching Derek Morris's testimony and thinking back to how active God has been in my life led me to update a testimony document I have. This document is so packed that I made a simpler version, and even then it was packed. But even the simpler version to that was packed. (laughs) It would take me the rest of my life to write down all the ways the Lord has moved in my life, and there are so many ways I don't even know about. So I try to just write the highlights of all of my testimonies and how God has worked in my life, and even then, it was a lot. Revelation 12, 17 says, And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. I pray that we make ourselves willing to be transformed daily by God through his Holy Spirit, so that we can keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ, and be used to lead others to the truth. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I watched The Power of Media, Derek Morris Shares His Life Story, on the ANN YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put the link in the intro section on the blog. Thank you for listening to this review. Until next time, peace be with you.